Hi everybody, this is Red Hill Eagle and welcome back to Hope and Glory. It's our TEW 2020 save from 1992, although we are now in November 95. When we last uh, left this series, we were we had just gone into February 95, so I've done quite a bit of um, off-camera stuff, uh, particularly I've hired a few guys. Um, I think where we left it last time as well, it's been a while. Um, we have now got our second show up and running, uh, Premier Central Wrestling. We've had a few of those now. Um, if I can get so yeah, this is all our shows from '95. So yeah, it was a few from Central Wrestling. Um, we've had a few uh, changes. The Central County title originally was Andre Baker. Um, Rory Campbell has now taken it off him. The Southern England champion is now Drew McDonald. I had I can't remember. Uh, yes, you would have seen Dave Sullivan as champion. Uh, he then dropped it back to George Burgess because I wanted to put it on one of our new guys, um, Drew McDonald. So we are now getting a lot of guys now that um, can earn a lot more money. We're starting to spend a little bit. Money's doing really well. and um, We made nearly 13000 last month. We are 166000 in the black. Everything's going really well. So I'm only going to continue to look for more people, really. Um, popularity, uh, we are now charging for tickets for our southern shows. So popularity has been a bit slow, actually. Um, I mean, so it was sort of going up there. When we start, then we started charging for tickets. So it was, took a while to get to 33, and it took a few months again to get to 34. So what I'm tempted to do for our first show of this episode is give away tickets for free again. Because I'm kind of hoping, fingers crossed, that will take us that will take us over that pop level to hit small. So what I'm going to do now, and I hope I remember to change it back, just for the London wrestling, we are going to ticket pricing free. So it's kind of like a um, an offer that we're putting on um, tickets for free. We'll lose money, and obviously we, we kind of need that income now to cover some of the wages that because we are, are spending a lot on wages now. The ticket sales did cover it last month, but obviously if we if that isn't there next month, then we're going to lose that. I mean, we I know we're gaining a little bit here and there through sponsors and stuff, but I think we're probably going to lose this month. But but you know we've got we've got money in the bank. We can afford to do these kinds of things. So I'm going to skip ahead. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip ahead. I'll do the um the central show off camera. And we'll just concentrate on the on the southern show, which I'll do on camera. Right, so I skipped ahead. I, I did the uh, the show in the Midlands, and we are now Friday week four November. I've got an email, AJPW a bankruptcy. Yes, I knew they were in trouble. They've gone, and there's been a lot of that actually. Um, there was a couple of companies I I even looked at possibly buying, which was WAW because they had Dave Finley. Um, and I had a lot of shows, so I wouldn't have been able to get him. But they went bust in the end, so so I snapped him up. Um, yep, good signing for us. I've upgraded our venue as well again. Um, just have a quick look at this. Um, where are we then? Keith Meyer has been passing on tips uh, on using psychology to his protege, Steve Linsky. Okay, uh, Keith Meyer's just come back from injury as well, actually. So yeah, our venue now is um, the Brentwood Ledger Centre. It holds 730. I, I, was, I was just looking at that, 888 fans. That's because we're not charging for tickets, though. I'm sure that's because we're not charging for tickets. So I'm just going to stick with um, Brentwood Ledger Centre for now. Yes, yeah, so I'm just hoping that this show, without um, you know being free, I'm just hoping it will take us over to 35 popularity and give us small level that's that's what i'm hoping anyway um but let's go ahead anyway and uh book the show so our champion now is um drew mcdonald he's a heel um let's have him take on someone like oh chick cullen could be good don't think we've had that yet oh they face each other a lot and um, i don't think they face each other in our company no, not by the looks of it. I'm quite happy with that anyway, though, actually. Um, Drew McDonald and Chick Cullen for the title. See if we can get away with a 17-minute match. Um, we'll have Drew McDonald win. And let's have him win by... 
I'm gonna have a win by. Hmm. No, let's have a win tainted. I was thinking about doing something a little bit different, but it doesn't really matter. And let's see if we can get this one down as storytelling as well. So that's good. Um, we're starting to get a bit of a split now between major stars, stars, well known, recognizable. Uh, we don't have any un unimportant yet, but Lewis Blaine is probably our least popular guy. In fact, I'm I'm still going to put him in a match. I think it'd be nice to get him over if we can. Uh, Lewis Blaine. Um, what was he? he's a face, isn't he? How about someone like? It'd be nice if we can get him against one of our newer guys. Um, I play Bond isn't that new, really. I was thinking someone. Yeah, we've got Scrubber Daly in as well. Then let's go with Dave Bond. Uh, we may well have already had this one actually. Yeah, a couple of times. March, that was a while ago. We'll have it again. See if we can put this one down as our um, steal the show as well. And I'll have uh, Dave Bond get the win. Maybe he can win by count out. Ah, Dave Bond can't do a match that length. 10 minutes? Yeah, right. So finally, um, a 15 minute match. Let's see. Let's have. Oh, Ian McGregor's pretty good. Yeah, Ian McGregor. Let's have him take on. Oh, Dave Finney. Uh, we might have already had this because we've been getting some really decent match ratings recently. Oh, we haven't. This this will be a good match. I guarantee these guys have put on a really good match. I'm going to have Finley win it. Um, tainted. So yeah, a bit of a bit of an odd show this one. I think all the heels are winning. Um, but that's okay. Right. So, Flash Barker to introduce the show. Yes, I'm still doing. The basic formula for now. Parker opens the show. When we hit small, things are going to change. Uh, Finley and Ian McGregor. I'm um, just promos. Finley and McGregor. Pre match promos. And then finally, uh, Drew McDonald and Chick Cullen uh, be interviewed by Flash Barker. Drew McDonald, Chick Cullen. Barker interviews uh, McDonald and Cullen pre Southeast title match. Now we have two titles, I differentiate between the two. Stick that there. Um, just make sure everything's above board there. What do we get? Uh, 42 from Flash Barker. 46 um, in the match between Dave Bond and Lewis Blaine. But Lewis Blaine being recognisable, yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, the promos between Dave Finley and Ian McGregor gets a 52. A 74, I knew that would be a good match, but I was not expecting that. That's the best match we've had. I'm going to say by a long way, I think off camera I had something in the 60s a couple of months ago. But that's our best match by a long way. <laughs> wow. And then the promos or the interview from Flash Barker with Drew McDonald and Chick Cullen pre-title match gets a 47. And the match gets a 57. Yes, Cullen's got a hot new move. So uh, McDonald makes defence number three of his title. Uh, 57 overall then. 58, yeah. I mean, if we if that Dave Finley, Ian McGregor was the main event, I mean, wow. I, I knew it'd be good. Oh, I didn't think it'd be that good. Okay, so um, here we are then. Uh, Monday, week one, December 1995. PLW writes a small size. That is brilliant i'm really pleased with that i thought it might work uh giving away free tickets so before we do anything we want to change this back to um ticket pricing cheap okay i just wanted to get the small really 
just wanted to do that now um I, we, we can kind of reevaluate the company now and sort of see where we're going a little bit better um i mean money's obviously going to sponsorship's going to start rolling in rolling in a bit more we made 7137 now that that is fantastic bearing in mind we had free tickets again and we've got a, a penalty here for production department that's because we've gone up to small uh, finances let's just have a quick look at this and sponsors went up to 15,000 um, and yeah we spent well we spent quite a lot that's the most we've ever spent um, so to still make 7,000 that's that is brilliant that's just that's just unbelievable um, so yeah I, I, I well I'm, I'm over the moon at that let's have a quick look at the production department then what are they screaming at um, I can never remember where this button is production 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 so it's pretty much everything we need to sort of look at so production values currently limited so if we're going to upgrade 500 which we've got um cost to be 500 a month plus 150 per show we got to do it um wow and we've still got a penalty for being amateur so we need to go another one a thousand which we've got one thousand five so that's now gonna be two grand a month and another five hundred per show, so that was an extra six hundred and fifty per show. So we can pretty much say about twenty three hundred roughly extra per show. Yeah, we're we're gonna need to start using bigger venues as well then actually and just have have a bit more money rolling in. Got to do it. Um live event experience. Currently volunteers um upgrading once upgraded it'll cost 2500 per show wow that's going to include the midlands show which we're only which we're not charging for for tickets so that's, five, that's another five grand a month i've got to do it i've got to do it broadcast quality amateur another 500 a show Okay, I mean, we've got enough money in the bank to cover us. We're not going to go bankrupt. You know, we can always downgrade these at any point. But my prediction is we'll keep, we'll keep doing what we're doing. Um, attendances will keep increasing. Um, I'll have a look at the state of the industry in a minute, but I think everything's sort of rising again now. I, I mean, we'll be okay. It's just when you look at those numbers, you do think, wow, that's a bit of a big jump. Music, currently small time. Um, to upgrade to generic another 250 per show so we're looking at it's not too bad i suppose what we're we looking at another three grand a month on costs roughly if i've calculated that right i might have got it wrong somewhere but we're going to be fine we'll be fine um and we're going to need to upgrade from generic as well so it's another 500 so okay that's that's fine i mean if we have a quick look um that'll go um we have a quick look at our finance and just uh, financial estimates so production then so yeah we're looking at roughly three thousand well hang on yeah four thousand a month and we made we just made seven thousand you know um because we didn't charge for any tickets once we're charging for it we're, we're going to be fine we're going to be absolutely fine um i might hold off hiring anyone this month though just to see where we are and what we've got and what i can afford I mean, sponsorship income estimated, that's up from what we get. Uh, oh, it's, well, it's roughly the same. Yeah, it's up slightly. So it was, it's difficult to judge, but it's going to be around that sort of figure. Okay, I'm, I'm happy. I am happy. I'm definitely happy that we are now sitting, we are a small company. We need six more popularity in the Midlands to get a TV deal. So that's uh, roughly another six months off camera stuff for me because it's going to be the usual, just putting on silly little shows. Once we get a TV deal, I mean, to be honest, I'm not going to have a weekly TV show yet because it's, the costs are just going to go up. So I think for the first year, maybe two, we're just going to be televising our events, which is going to put our pop up everywhere else. So it's not a bad thing. It's just we're probably not quite ready for a TV, a weekly TV show yet. 
and I'll probably drop the Midlands show when we get a TV deal as well because we'll get pop from just broadcasting it there okay but that's that's for another day I'm obviously gonna a couple of months off camera now see where we are see what money we're making after all those production changes and then obviously just just keep going just keep doing what I'm doing um so I will call this one a day and I hope you've enjoyed it I hope you're as pleased as I am that we are we're now a small company we've we've gone from absolutely nothing if you remember at the beginning all of these were zero our pop was zero across the board we're now a small company with that kind of money in our bank so take care everybody please like and subscribe drop me any comments i've not had any comments yet i mean i'm still way ahead in publishing these videos so maybe by the time you guys come to see this there are a few comments but even if it's just to say how rubbish i am or how you hate my voice it'd just be nice to get something but take care and i'll see you all again soon goodbye